Hi, Kelly Cody here, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using envelopes inside of DocuSign. So once you've logged into Command and you're inside of a transaction, make sure you're on the Documents tab and then click Go to Transaction. It's going to take you into your Documents room for that transaction, and you'll see the forms that we've previously uploaded. Now I can look at my people who are involved in this transaction, and these are people that I've brought in. I can always invite more people, but I don't have to at this point, it's simply an option. I'm going to click on Envelopes now, and an envelope is where I can now electronically sign documents. So I'm going to create a brand new envelope, and I'm going to name this envelope, Please DocuSign for Listing. I'm going to add documents, either using a pre-templated uh, creation that I've made, by using the room docs that I have, or by uploading a document from my computer, or bringing one in from a box, Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive account. I'm going to go ahead with the room docs that I've previously uploaded, and I'm going to go ahead and select all three of those items, add my selected items, scroll down, sorry those are just loading, I'm going to scroll down here, and add a recipient. Now I can add somebody with just an email address or I can add people with a room participant, which is what I'm going to choose to do right now. It's gonna bring in the people who I already have brought into this room on a previous occasion. I'm gonna select this email and this email, add selected, and this is where I can choose who gets to do what. So I'm gonna allow Kelly Cody to sign, whereas I'm gonna have front desk just view. This is a really good option if people want to be able to have family members look over items, but without giving them signing powers on the contracts. Here's where I can put in my message, looking forward to reviewing these documents with you this evening. Thank you. And then up in the top right hand corner, you'll see I have some actions. My actions are copy and delete. I can also view the envelope history. But what I'm gonna do right now is click on Next. And this is going to take us into the section where I can start adding in different signatures, initials, form fields, check boxes, etc. Now, if I end up doing the same forms over and over and over, I am gonna to wanna to create a template, but we'll do that on a different day. So in this case, we're gonna pretend that I've already filled out this entire document and all I'm doing now is click, drag, and drop for the signature. And over here, you're going to see all of the different options that I have within this particular field that I've just created. I'm also going to bring in my date box. And I'm going to bring in a check box and say that this is for a seller. Once I've finished with everything and have it looking the way that I want, I just have to click on send. And there we go. That's getting started with envelopes and starting to send those out. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye. Guys, there is so much more to learn. Check out these videos for more information.